Do you believe in the power of your thoughts and feelings to create reality? What if I told you there's a method that can help you manifest your desires? Allow me to introduce you to the world of Neville Goddard, a place where the power of your mind becomes the architect of your reality. In this world, your thoughts and feelings are not just thoughts and feelings. They are the creators, the sculptors of your reality. This concept might seem radical, even revolutionary, but it has been practiced and refined by countless individuals since time immemorial. Before we explore further, you might wonder, who is Neville Goddard? Neville Goddard was a spiritual teacher, author, and lecturer who lived from 1905 to 1972. Throughout his life, he dedicated himself to the study and teaching of metaphysical concepts. And one of his most significant contributions to the world of spirituality and self-improvement is what we now know as the Neville Goddard Method. What is this method, you ask? The Neville Goddard Method is a groundbreaking approach to personal development based on the belief that our thoughts and emotions have the power to manifest our desires into reality. It's not some magic trick or overnight shortcut to success. It's a well thought out practical approach designed to help individuals tap into their subconscious mind's power to transform their lives. The Neville Goddard Method has countless testimonials from people who've seen their lives turn around in spectacular ways. From securing job offers that seemed impossible to get to manifesting a brand new car out of the blue, the testimonies are as varied as they are inspiring. But how does this method work? The backbone of the Neville Goddard Method revolves around the concept of visualization. It's the process of creating a mental image of what you desire, feeling it deeply and consistently until it manifests in your reality. It's about painting a vivid picture in your mind, fueling it with intense emotion and letting the power of your subconscious mind work its magic. This method also emphasizes the importance of living in the end. This means acting and thinking as if what you desire has already been fulfilled. It's about aligning your thoughts, feelings and actions with your desired outcome. It's about creating an unshakable belief that you already have what you want. The Neville Goddard Method also encourages the practice of revision. By revisiting past events in your mind and altering them to your liking, you can effectively rewrite your personal history. This process helps to eliminate negative beliefs and create a more empowering narrative for your life. This method does require time, effort, and patience, but the results can be life-changing. It's not a quick fix solution. It's a journey of self-discovery and personal transformation. It's about understanding the immense power within you and how to harness it to create the life you want. So do you feel ready to take control of your thoughts and feelings to shape your reality? Are you curious to see how this unique method can help you transform your dreams into tangible outcomes? If so, then you are ready to embark on this exciting journey of self-discovery and manifestation. Let's delve into this exciting method and see how it can work for you. The Neville Goddard Method is a potent technique that works on a simple premise. Your thoughts and feelings shape your reality. This technique, renowned for its efficacy and profound impact, hinges on the formidable power of your mind, an organ often underestimated, yet vital to the creation of your reality. The method is rooted in the spiritual and psychological concept that the mind holds enormous influencing capacity, an ability to generate images and emotions that extend beyond mere thoughts and eventually actualize in our tangible world. Before we delve into the core of this method, it's important to understand the foundational principle on which it rests. It asserts that the mind is not just a vessel for thoughts, but a potent instrument capable of molding our reality. Every thought, every emotion retains power and the energy of these elements can influence our physical world considerably. The first step in implementing the Neville Goddard method is to construct a mental image that is both precise and vivid. This image could represent anything that you desire. It could be a material possession like a luxurious car or an affluent lifestyle. Or it could be an intangible desire like securing a coveted job offer or undergoing a personal transformation. The more detailed and vibrant the image, the more power it holds. Picture your desire in minutia, 
Imagine every facet, every nuance, every detail, the color, the feel, the aroma, every conceivable detail strengthens image's potency. Next, you need to immerse yourself in the emotions associated with your desire. This step is crucial and carries more weight than the previous one, because it is not just about the image, it's about the feelings that the image invokes in you. If your image is a new car, for example, don't just visualize it. Instead, immerse yourself in the thrill of driving that car. Feel the rush of adrenaline as you speed down the highway, the pride when you park it in your driveway, the cozy comfort of its plush leather seats, the smell of fresh car scent. Each emotion you attach to the image amplifies its power, and this is where the real magic unfolds. Emotions are the fuel that propels your thoughts towards manifestation. The final step involves allowing these thoughts and feelings to permeate your subconscious mind, particularly before you drift off to sleep. The subconscious mind, a formidable force often overlooked, works relentlessly, even when we are unaware of it. It's the part of our mind that never rests, the part that holds the potential to convert your desires into reality. When the images and emotions are implanted into your subconscious, they gain momentum and power. The subconscious mind is your ally in this journey, a powerful tool that works ceaselessly to manifest your dreams. However, there's a final piece to this manifestation puzzle, belief. Neville Goddard method is not merely about visualizing or fantasizing, it's about feeling and believing. Belief is the glue that binds this method together. When you visualize, when you feel, ensure that you believe as well. Believe in the potency of your images, believe in the power of your emotions. The stronger your belief, the more potent your manifestation. Each image, each emotion, each thought, when coupled with unwavering faith, helps you inch closer to your desired reality. The more you believe in your images and feel your emotions, the more likely they are to manifest into your reality. Imagine manifesting a new car or securing a job offer. Sounds incredible, right? You may think it's too good to be true or perhaps just the stuff of fairy tales or Hollywood movies. But what if I told you this isn't just a figment of someone's imagination, but a reality experienced by several individuals across the globe? Now, your excitement starts to peak, doesn't it? Let's delve a little deeper into this fascinating concept. The idea is not just about daydreaming or fantasizing, but about tapping into the immense power of your mind, that vast expanse of mental prowess that often remains unexplored and underutilized. It's not about magic or mysticism, but about the science of manifestation that is deeply rooted in psychology and neuroscience. Consider this scenario. A woman, let's call her Emma, had been dreaming of owning a certain luxury car for years. She had posters of it in her room, 3D models on her desk, and a screensaver of that flashy vehicle on her laptop. Every day she spent a few minutes visualizing herself driving that car, feeling the leather of the steering wheel under her hands, the hum of the engine in her ears, the thrill of speed coursing through her veins, weeks of intense visualization, days of unwavering focus and belief, and one fine day she found herself signing the papers of her dream car. Now consider a young graduate, perhaps like many of you. After years of slogging and studying, he was ready to step into the professional world. Like Emma, he had a dream, to work for a particular multinational corporation, one that was renowned for its work culture and employee growth. Every night before he went to sleep, he envisioned himself walking into giant glass doors of that company, feeling the rush of excitement, the sense of achievement, he imagined meetings, presentations, the everyday hustle and bustle. And then one day, he received a call, a job offer from the very company he had been dreaming about. It wasn't a miracle, simply a testament to his focused intention, consistent practice, and unwavering belief in his potential. These stories aren't anomalies. They aren't rare occurrences or results of mere luck or chance. They are powerful illustrations of the human mind's capacity to create its reality. They are testimony to the potency of our thoughts, the strength of our intentions, and the impact of our mental and emotional commitment to our dreams. The power to transform your reality lies within you, in your subconscious mind, 
that's ready and willing to work in your favor if you allow it. Remember, it's not just about thinking positive or being optimistic. It's about consistency, about unwavering focus and belief, about visualizing with intent and emotion. It's about harnessing the power of your subconscious mind, about realizing that this isn't an esoteric concept, but a practical tool that can be used in everyday life. In conclusion, let it be said that your subconscious mind is a treasure trove of possibilities. It's a powerhouse that's ready to be unleashed. You've heard the saying, mind over matter. It's time to put it to test, to convert your thoughts into reality, to create a life of abundance, success, and fulfillment. Your subconscious mind is more powerful than you think, and it's ready to work in your favor. So how do you put the Neville Goddard method into practice? The process may seem simple, but in reality, it's more intricate and profound than what you might initially perceive. It starts with an essential factor that can't and shouldn't be underestimated, the creation of a detailed mental image of your desire. But what does it mean to create a mental image? It's not just about visualization, but also about the embodiment of the essence of your desire. It's about the manifestation of your aspiration in a mental projection that's as vivid and tangible as possible. Imagine you're painting a picture or sculpting a statue. Every stroke or chisel mark you make should contribute to the overall representation of your desire. This goes beyond the mere surface appearance. It's the depth, the texture, the minutiae that give life to your desire. Be as specific as you can considering every minute detail. Think of this imagery as the foundation of your aspiration. Without a sturdy, clear, and in-depth foundation, the structure of your desire cannot stand strong. This step is not merely about the conception of an image, but the birth of a reality in your mind. The following step, as integral as the first, involves tuning into the emotions associated with your desire. Here, it's important to understand that emotions are not just reactions. They are the energy that fuels your desire. To truly understand and resonate with your desire, you need to delve into the emotional landscape associated with it. Feel the joy, the satisfaction, the excitement, as if your desire has already manifested. Imagine the burst of happiness you'd experience when your dream comes to fruition. Feel the exhilaration pumping through your veins, the satisfaction settling in your soul, the excitement bubbling in your core. These emotions are not just figments of your imagination, but an integral part of your reality, a reality that you're creating within your psyche. This is not just about imagining. It's about feeling layer to this method is the immersion into the reality of your desire. This is where the power of your imagination truly shines, as it allows you to blur the lines between your current reality and the reality you're seeking to manifest. Immersion is not just a passive practice. It's an active engagement with your aspirations, an embedding of yourself within the reality you wish to create. This immersion, this mental and emotional envelopment within your desire, is what allows your subconscious mind to get to work. The subconscious mind is a powerful tool in this method, and understanding its potential is crucial. This part of your mind not just a storage room for memories or an undercurrent of thoughts, but it's your personal genie capable of manifesting your deepest desires. When you immerse yourself and feed your subconscious with your aspirations, you're essentially programming it to work towards manifesting your desires. Let's not forget the holistic nature of this method. It's not just about visualization, emotions, or immersion individually. It is about the blend of all these elements working together in a harmonic symphony, each one complementing and enhancing the other. This harmonization is what creates a strong, resonant frequency that attracts your desires like a magnet. Remember, it's all about immersing yourself in the feeling of your desire being fulfilled. Immersion is the key that unlocks the door to your manifested desires. It's the magic that sparks the fire within your subconscious mind, illuminating the path towards the realization of your desires. So immerse, feel, visualize, and manifest. By now, you should have a good understanding of the Neville Goddard method and how it can help you manifest your desires. This philosophy, deeply rooted in the power of imagination and suggestion, 
is a transformative tool that could potentially reshape your life. Named after its creator, Neville Goddard, an influential New Thought leader, this method has been embraced by countless people around the world, each of them seeking to manifest their dreams and desires into reality. The foundation of the Neville Goddard method lies in the belief that our thoughts and emotions hold the potential to mold our reality. This isn't merely an interesting theory or an unsupported claim, but an idea up by centuries of philosophical and spiritual thought. From ancient Greek Stoic philosophers to modern-day cognitive psychologists, many have suggested that our perceptions, our thoughts and feelings, do not just reflect our world, they actively shape it. The core principle of this method is that you must vividly imagine and emotionally connect with your desires before you sleep, thereby allowing your subconscious mind to work its magic. This isn't about wishful thinking or daydreaming. It requires genuine emotional engagement and mental visualization. As you picture your desires, you should feel as if they are real, as if they are happening here and now. This is not just an in-creativity, but a deeply personal and profound experience. To fully harness the power of the Neville Goddard method, your visualization should be vivid and specific. If you're seeking financial success, don't just picture money. Imagine the experiences and feelings that financial success will bring, the security, the freedom, the opportunities. If you're seeking a relationship, envision not just a partner, but the joy, connection, and growth that such a relationship would offer. However, visualization alone is not enough. You must emotionally connect with these visions, immersing yourself in the feelings they provoke. This emotional connection is what fuels the manifestation process. It's what communicates your desires to your subconscious mind, transforming fleeting thoughts into concrete realities. And what role does sleep play in this process? Our subconscious mind is most active and receptive during sleep. By engaging in visualization and emotional connection before sleep, we essentially program our subconscious to work on manifesting our desires as we rest. Each night becomes a chance to move closer to our dreams, a step towards the we desire to create. Consistency plays a crucial role in the effectiveness of the Neville Goddard method. Like any skill, mastering the art of manifestation requires practice and patience. As you consistently engage with this method, you'll find your visualizations becoming more vivid, your emotional connections more profound, and manifestations more potent. Additionally, it's important to focus on the idea of abundance. This method is not about scarcity, competition, or lack. It's about believing in the infinite possibilities of the universe, trusting that there is more than enough for everyone. By focusing on abundance, we open ourselves up to the limitless potential of our lives. Remember, your reality is of your inner world. Your external circumstances mirror your internal state of mind. As Neville Goddard said, imagination is the beginning of creation. Start creating your reality today.